All right. It's been a while. <laughs> I was trying to find a little inspiration to make videos and kind of what to talk about. And uh, I've been thinking, so um, I'm glad I got a suggestion and I wanted to make videos in regards to this because I can't make videos on everything because some things are actually perfectly talked about. Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk about is credit. And I'm going to give you some some hints or some tips or even some things that I should have done in my life uh, that I wish that, you know, I would have done, uh, you know, during that time. Uh, and one of the things that I would tell people to do is to clean up your credit. The reason why I always say clean your credit is because you can use credit as leverage. Not only can you use credit to purchase businesses, uh, you can use credit to finance assets. If you leverage your credit, you will never be broke a day in your life. Um, what most people don't understand is you can buy stock with your credit card. You can flip vehicles with your credit card. Um, you can flip products. So say if you find a pair of Jordans or something or whatever, you know, I'm just using this as a reference or a watch that's underpriced. And then you see this watch is a thousand dollars, but you know that this watch sells for five to six thousand dollars. And people say, well, why would I find a watch for a thousand dollars that sells for seven thousand dollars? People get in financial hardships, just like cars. You know, people get in a financial hardship. They have to sell a car and they might just need they might need two thousand dollars and a car might be worth six thousand dollars, but they need two thousand dollars and they need to move it quick. These opportunities will come, especially in a so you know, in the scam demic that we have going on. Um, so your credit is very important to have. Now, if you're working a nine to five, you hate your job, you want to get out of your job, then you're going to want to increase your credit because once you increase your credit, you can pretty much walk in a job and say, you know what, F you, especially if you can find a way to use your credit to create passive income. So if you can create passive income through your credit, you will never be broke a day in your life. There are so many things that you can use your credit for. Um, I tell you one thing is, is you can buy businesses. If you have good credit, you can also finance a business. Just imagine already financing a business that's already running while you're starting your own business. But this business is already cash flowing. So there's opportunities and people don't know that there's things like business brokers out there uh, who can point you in the direction of people who are actually selling their business and you can get finance as a startup business if you can come up with a business plan or if you want to do it without a business plan. You can get finance to start a, to, to, to buy somebody's business that's already operating instead of starting your own, which may be easier for you. Um, but if your credit is in order, these things are possible for you. Now, I'm going to give you some hints and tips to fix your credit that you're not going to hear on the Internet because most credit gurus do not understand credit. Another thing, if you're having a problem with credit, like getting hard inquiries off, that's very easy to get off. But if you're having problems with like stuff like charge offs, repos, foreclosures, these things take a little bit more, uh, you know, <laughs> prying to get off. It, but they're very easy to get off. And one of your the best ways to get off a foreclosure, repossession or whatever is a counterclaim. Now, I know people don't talk about that. You see all these people saying do factual disputes and look for this wrong and look for this wrong. What they're doing is they're stringing you along. Credit repair businesses in general are scam businesses. I'm not saying you can't start one and, and get money. I mean, just like Bitcoin, Bitcoin is a scam, but you can still make money off of it. But <laughs> credit is one of the most important things that you're going to need now, especially in today's climate where uh, the dollar is dwindling down. Uh, purchasing power is, is being, you know, kind of sacrificed for uh, the, the the COVID-19 or oh, can't even say COVID. Can I say COVID-19? Oh, who gives a fuck? You're going to need credit. Now, if you have bad credit, you want to go on your credit report and look. Don't be afraid to pay for credit, like credit monitoring. Don't be afraid to pay for it. Um, the reason why I tell you don't be afraid to pay for it is because 
you want to make sure that you control everything that goes on your credit. And a lot of people don't tell you how to do that, but you want to control everything. Don't let somebody put something on your credit because then they have leverage over you. These are the things I wish I would have known. Now, when I, you know, when you're working a nine to five, the one thing I wish I would have known is how to leverage your paycheck by using credit. Well, if you use your say, if you know how to invest in stock or you know how to invest in Forex or just like I said, you could flip cars, watches or whatever. If you could use your credit card, say if you can get a higher limit on your credit card, you can actually leverage not having to spend your the, the money you work for into purchase assets with your credit card, flipping these assets and then paying your bills with, when you flip these assets and, and paying off your credit card. These options exist. You just have to be very creative and, and be able to create systems that uh get you you know that that'll cash flow and get money and that'll pay off your credit card um but credit is one of the strongest things you have it's just like jp morgan said uh, only gold and silver are money everything else is credit and a lot of people think credit is just a credit card and all that but (laughs) i could give you so many credit tips from somebody who had to learn the hard way and that's that's why I tell people, don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to, you know, go through some hardship because that shit gives you, boy, that gives you knowledge. That gives you wisdom. You know, when people don't experience something, they don't really have no knowledge, no wisdom. They they have secondhand knowledge. But, yeah, you can you can definitely leverage your credit. You don't even need a lot of credit to do that. Uh, just don't use your credit cards and top them out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't if you can't pay three thousand dollars in a month. Don't use three thousand dollars a month on your credit card. Just use your credit card to pay your bills then. And then once your bills are paid, take your paycheck and give yourself that balance again and then use that to invest or to leverage. You see what I'm saying? So don't 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 do like most people. They go charge up three thousand, four thousand dollars, five thousand dollars on their credit cards and they only have four thousand dollar credit limit. Now they gotta work to pay it pay it off. So now you become a slave to the credit card and you want the credit card to be a slave to you by using it to leverage and buying assets and then using those assets to pay for your lifestyle. If I'd known, if I would have known this years ago, uh, the, the way to stay rich is to preserve your principal and spend your interest. And what I mean by that is if I could take $200,000 and put that in a stock account and say, I make $2,000 in dividends a month, Right. I can use that two thousand dollars dividends to pay for my lifestyle. But I still have two hundred thousand dollars that I can leverage, like buy a house, buy property, uh, buy um, whatever. The reason why rich people get rich and poor people stay poor is because rich people have assets. Poor people have liabilities, meaning they create liabilities for themselves instead of using the little bit they have as assets, like the little bit of credit. Most people don't need $100,000 in credit cards because you don't even know what to do with $10,000 in credit cards. This is why the banks don't give you a lot of credit because you don't know what to do with it. So once you start acquiring more assets, even if you have nothing, that's the beautiful thing about America. Even if you have nothing, you can start up getting two, three thousand dollars worth of credit and become make $100,000 a year. There's people who are purchasing businesses, starting T-shirt businesses. Flipping businesses. That's another thing that you got. You can fix a business and flip it and get paid off of that. So you can flip web domains. It's so much shit you can do to get money, man. You always want to use your credit card as leverage. You won't even have to leave the house. You can get paid and not even have to leave the house. I always tell people you can actually quit your job in a month if you fix your credit. And most people don't understand that. So. I just wanted to do this video because it was suggested and I'm going to try to belt out some videos. Uh, but I got I got like five, six, if not seven videos just stuck in my phone. I haven't let out, but y'all have a good one. I'm out.